Memory Keepers Foil Quill Freestyle Pen Kit. Now, I got this from um, HSN when they had it on special, so I got their little washi. I got the four pens here, which I will explain, and I got some foil. So I want to zoom in and show you these tips here. Okay, so the tips that come in this set that I got was the fine tip, which looks like the pink one here. Hoping you could see just how tiny that is, the fine tip. And this one would be the standard tip. And this one is the bold tip, which I'm surprised that it's actually almost a flat end on there. And this one is their calligraphy tip. Okay, so let me zoom back out. These are USB powered. So I'm going to start off with the very, very fine tip, which you can see I haven't even, I haven't removed all of the twist ties from them yet. So uh, it says to plug in and heat for five minutes. Now I have a USB cord uh, set up right here, but they do have a power pack you can buy. Now I'm going to put some cardstock down. This is kind of an, an off-white here, cream color. And I'll play around with the foil and show you each of the tips and how they are working. So you can see here, it's got a little light there so that you know it's heating up. I'm looking at the time. And one thing you want to do is to adhere your either your, your cardstock, um, whatever surface you're using, if you can stabilize it so that it's not going to move around, but especially stabilize your foil. You want to kind of smooth that out and get the foil so that it's not going to move around on you. So let me get the foil that came with my project. Here we go. Okay. I promise I'm going to have to do this and keep pausing while I reheat each of the individual uh, tips here. Now they also have a magnetic board that you can use. Oops, sorry. Uh, which would help too. You can use this to lay it on the magnetic board and you can then uh, lay magnets on the foil instead of using the tape. Now I am going to really stretch this out here. What you don't want is to have it wrinkling while you are writing or you're going to be missing some of your the smoothness in your work. Okay, so we'll do that. And when this is done heating, I will write with each I will do each tip. I'm sorry for that glare. And another thing, if you're concerned about the heat and how it's going through to your craft mat, you could put an additional layer of something under there to kind of buffer that from the heat. And so I'm going to take this and just freestyle again. I'm so sorry for the glare. I'm wondering if I could put something at an angle, but I don't really have anything I can do that with. So we said this was the fine tip. So I'm going to write fine tip. Okay, and then I am going to unplug this one and plug in the standard tip. Okay, now I'm going to go to the standard tip, plug that one and let that heat up. Okay, that one's lit up. Okay, so that one is heated up, so now I'm going to write standard here. Now I'm not using anything for, in order to make sure I'm getting straight lines. What you can do is you could use their laser light to do that too. Okay, standard. Alrighty. Next I'm going to use that bold one. So let's unplug this and get that bold one plugged in. And we will give that five minutes to charge. Okay. So this is the bold tip. I'm going to try and hold this more vertically because that way I get the all of the fatness of my tip. And just for funsies, do a little star up there. Now I'm going to unplug this one and plug in the calligraphy tip. 
and we will let that one heat up. The light's up. Okay, so that one's heated up. This is the calligraphy. Remember, if you've done calligraphy, um, the flat end, you're going to put it on your paper angled this way, or on your foil. Okay, I'm running out of room. I'm going to write calligraph because I'm running out of room to do my, well, I could do the Y if I didn't have all that tape there. Now, um, I'm going to pull these off. And it does, some of it pulls a little bit of the foil off, so you may lose a little bit of your foil by using the tape. And you could save these because you could still do stars and other um, images with the rest of this foil. I'm just going to put this back, but do it over here. All right, now I'm going to show you this. And because I labeled what they are, you can see... You can see how well they did. So fine tip, it's very, very skinny, very good. Standard tip, bold tip, and calligraphy. Just letting the light shine on that. So this is really fun and a game changer. But you may be saying, let's cover that up. You may be saying, but I cannot draw or write well. They do also have stencils that you can use to trace letters through it. I have seen people using plastic stencils. I would have thought that this tip would melt the plastic. Maybe it doesn't. Definitely metal stencils would work. Um, another thing that I've been trying, haven't perfected it yet, is to put the gold foil down, or whatever color foil, and on a piece of tissue paper, write down what I want, or print it out, lay it on there, and then just trace the tissue paper through this. I wouldn't want anything thicker because I do want the heat to transfer through the paper into my gold and onto whatever I'm doing. Um, so besides doing card making with this, think about all the possibilities. You could do chipboard, you could do faux leather, you could do leather, craft text, wood. You could use it in your planners and your scrapbook. I did it on this faux leather, which is my Elizabeth Craft Designs planner for 2020. I'll give you the link down below to my playlist in which I assembled this whole thing. But you can see what I did right in here. I put my word of the year right there, and that is using the calligraphy tip. And I just drew that straight in there. I didn't use tissue paper or anything or trace anything. I just did my own handwriting. Isn't that pretty? Um, so think about even edging something like edging your cards. Uh, I still have my calligraphy tip in here, so let's just play around for a minute. Still lit up. I didn't have, again, didn't have a whole lot of room because of the uh, tape there. So always remember to put your, your foil gold side up. They, this is called the Foil Quill Freestyle because it's about you drawing with it or writing with it. Their original foil quill pens go in your Cricut or Cameo machines. Um, there we go. And there. You could also use this to just, um, if you don't need, uh, you don't even have to tape it if you're just like, you know, doing little circles and stuff. You know, I wouldn't use a calligraphy uh, pen, but just saying hashtags. You don't have to tape it down all the time. So it's pretty quick. Five minute heat time is not bad at all. They're comfortable to hold in the hand. I don't feel like my hand is slipping on it at all. The rubber grip here protects you from heat. I mean, I'm even holding right here, and it's warm, but it's not too hot to touch. But still, make sure you keep these away from children because the tip itself gets fairly hot. They have different colors of foil, and you can probably use foil from other companies as well. Just remember, the pretty side goes up when you're using it. So that is my little mini demo for using these foil tips. You will see pretty soon... When I ordered this on HSN, I ordered the auto ship, which means uh, I will get a couple more shipments of stencils and things that go with it, and I will show you those when they come. Thank you so much for watching.